Nigel Mansell looking for a way past Nidal. He's got the inside line at Redgate, but they make contact. Nidal bumps the front of Nigel Mansell, who muscles his way through, and Mansell's up into third place. Another big cheer from the partisan crowd. But Red 5 is up into the top three for the first time in the international Tokyo shootout. Nigel Mansell pulling away, and now Sofa's up into fourth place. Nidal's down to fifth as they come through the old hairpin. And Mansell sideways, the Mondeo fishtailing. He's off again, Nidal's hit him, and Nigel Mansell thunders into the barrier. A very big accident indeed. The Ford Mondeo lies absolutely shattered by the side of the road. Steam coming out of the engine, and Nigel Mansell is most definitely out of the race. The marshal's rushing towards the car to help the driver. Fire extinguishers also being brought to the car. The emergency crews on the scene as well. Now this is surely going to bring out the pace car while they can release Nigel Mansell from the Ford Mondeo. The rest of the field will be unaware of this, save for the drivers that were behind Mansell. Meantime, the race still continues up front. Now the passenger door of the Mondeo is open. The 1993 Toka shootout is being stopped and this is the reason why. Coming through the old hairpin, Steve Soper in fourth place. He clips the curb, but ahead of him, Mansell's already got it sideways. The back steps out. Mansell looks like he's got it under control, and then it spears off to the left. Tiffany Dell has nowhere to go. He hits Mansell, who slides across the grass into the barrier just in front of the bridge parapet down at Starkey's Bridge. The car then spins round again into the middle of the road, just missing the Peugeots of Dave Coyne and Rob Gravitt. A different angle, Mansell running wide onto the curves on the outside of the road. Now by that stage, it looks like he's under control. He spears off to the left, Nidal has nowhere to go but into the side of him, and Mansell clips the barrier in front of the bridge parapet, and he bounces then back onto the tarmac. Gravit and Coyne both go past him, and this is how Nigel himself saw it. Down through the gears, into the old hairpin, he turns in, clips the curb on the inside of the corner, that unsettles the car. Now when he seems to have got it back under control, he slides across, Nidal hits him, and that spears Mansell off into the barriers. The side view, through the gears, turns into the old hairpin. Again, he clips the curve, the back of the car snaps out, and Mansell, fighting for control, eventually gets tapped by Tiffany Dell, and that spears him off into the barrier. Steve, that looked some pretty hairy stuff down there, bumping and barging. Yeah, they all seem a bit brainless, don't they? I mean, uh, my brain's intact at the moment. Maybe I've got to disengage it from now on. Is it, you mean Nigel? Well, not just Nigel, but the Dale's car is uh, like a truck at the moment. Yes. It looks like a 20-year-old truck as well by all the damage all over it. So everyone's getting upset with him, including me. Was it pretty bad? That, 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 that looked pretty fraught. Yeah, I think it's. Uh, I think maybe the uh, the sportiness is going out of it at the moment. They ought to have a chat with them. Well, look, this last part here is 12,000 quid in it now. Yeah, it gets serious now, doesn't it? Especially when you're living down in Monaco. <laughs>